Hey there, hi there, hold there, fire family, and welcome to another Naruto Reacts. And this is a reaction to The Dragon Prince Season 2, Episode 8. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The Book of Destiny. Mm. Second to last episode of the Season 2. What's gonna happen? I wonder if this is gonna be a build-up to the what season finale. We we are so close to the border. We could be in Zadia and Calum doesn't look good at all. Look how, look how concerned Zim looks. <laughs> Close, Rayla, but Callum's not doing well. At That's all. His own fault for messing with dark magic. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, concerned, though. You're right. I just need to rest my eyes while we walk. He has the biggest... Those aren't even sleeping bags under his eyes. That's like a... That's like purple eyeshadow. <laughs> all natural. And what's happened with Soren? What that's not doing? good at all. I'm pinching you, Soren. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> that's just rude. <laughs> Sir, you literally are possibly paralyzed, paralyzed from the neck down, and you're not, and you're sitting here making jokes. Sorry, come on. Hold on. I'll have you back on your feet in no time. What are you gonna use? It's just like putting limes or or lemons or, or not lemons that would hurt. Um, what is it? Cucumbers over your eye? Uh, lime and lemons. Why would I say that when that would burn your eyes? No, cucumbers. It's like putting cucumbers over your eyes. And the last step has just a tad of grasshopper goop. Oh, Ew. do you really have to? <gasps> oh, <man. laughs> I don't blame her with that one. She's seasoning Soren. <laughs> I'm kind of, this is the one time I'm going to say I hope the dark magic works. Well, that was super pretty. But, but it didn't work. I still can't move. You can't? But that should have... Hold on, I must have something. She's getting desperate now. I'm sorry, she has that apple, just one bite out of it. Is that like a pl like the poison apple from Snow White? That's all I have for healing. Poor Claudia. Uncomfortable with your choice to use dark magic, perhaps? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's scolding him over using dark magic when if it weren't for him doing that, the dragon wouldn't have escaped. I would have been killed. She probably would have been killed and everything. Like I, I know this is probably her lashing out because she's scared and concerned like what's happening with Callum after using dark magic, but the <laughs> Are you laying on a bed of... Oh, I thought it was a bed of nails. I'm going to say, yeah, that would, Well, no, okay. Nails would be painful. Keys would, yeah, just be uncomfortable. The key to... Yes, reach your hand into the pile of key. Oh. That? That wasn't there before, was it? That symbol wasn't there. Is that dark magic? Did he just, like, unlock something in him? Who are you? Is this gonna be Callum if he embrace, embraces dark magic? I'm curious to see what Viren's reaction is gonna be to Soren's injury. He's still down in the fun dungeon. Fungeon. Where are you? Where? I don't know. Hmm. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. I never lie. I never lie. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You meant something to him. Oh, that's Perhaps. a smile that knows. Tell me what you need, and I will help you. I need your name. I don't think he's gonna give it. We're gonna get to see the horns. Ooh. Erevos. What was the name? Erevors? Erevos. Erevors. Is it Erevorce or Erevorce? Erev I'm pretty sure it's Erevorce. I want to see your horns from the side, Erevorce. <laughs> Good luck me remembering this thing. The head caterpillar holding on. I'm really curious on who this mysterious figure is. I get the feeling it's like Dark Cal Callum or something. <laughs> 
Who are you? I'm you. He's delirious. It's getting worse. Her pouty face. <laughs> Rayla. Show yourself or I'll greet you with my pointy friends. It points your friends. Oh, it's you. You. Now, now, can we not fight? We're, we're. We want the safety and protection of the princesses. Princes. I'm not here to fight. He's down. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> she really did not just pull that. <laughs> King Esrin. Oh, he's going to realize that Harrow's dead with that. Oh, no. Oh, Rayla, Rayla, that's why Rayla looked like that, because she realizes, too, that he now knows. Oh. Well, that's a hard way to find out. Oh, my, look at all the bandages on him. He's not going to get better. What? He won't die, but he's never going to walk again. Ooh. That's what I thought. He should hear it from me. Is she, though? Or is she going to try and but find I'm a way to heal him? I'm just a prince. My dad is... Wait, that's not what you're saying. He isn't... No. No, no, oh, no! He's going to run off, isn't Ezrin, he? It's going to be okay. You knew? Ooh. I'm an idiot. I should have figured it out. When we met you, you had two of those assassiny ribbony things. Assassiny ribbony things. That That's right. That must have been when he fell. Fell? Died? Yes. Fell? He didn't fall, Rila. He didn't trip and land on the ground. He got killed. It's another saying for. Uh, never mind. Ooh. He's an ass of Calum. Calum. Does he know yet? He knows. I'm going for a walk. That is the most calm response I have ever heard from a child his age over finding out that his father is dead. I'm going for a walk. <laughs> I can't let you go alone. If I am the king, then you have to let me go. Wow, already giving... <laughs> You're not my king. Just let me go be alone. Please. I mean, you are... Child Zim? Yeah, I was say Zim or Bait. Oh. Oh. What are you getting, Viren? Erevos. Erevos, there. What? What's going on? It's a password? Did Ere? Okay, so Erevos. Did Erevos know that Viren would look up his name or something? Is it erasing itself? What's happening? Shh. You're in a library. Yes, I'm quite aware. I'm in a shh. <laughs> she stretches him. I really feel like this is Callum. This is gonna be dark Callum. I just feel it. Or is he taller than Callum? No, that's Callum. Yep. You tried dark magic for the first time. No one expects that. Is this what Viren and Claudia see in their head? Is this the part that's going to convince them that's for what they do is for all the right reasons kind of thing? That kind of like voice in their head that's like, now nah, you're doing the right thing. To be easy, but is it really so wrong? Yep, here comes the, is it really so wrong? Come on, you can, it's just, mm -mm. Yes. Is it though? Yes. Is it? Yes. <laughs> He's arguing with himself. Is it? Yes. You need to accept your destiny. I Is it my destiny now? The kind of magic humans can do. You can have unlimited power. I don't like this. This is this is dark magic trying to twist him and change him to use it. Nah, nah. That box is the key. Don't let it be ta taken over by nothing but dark magic. Kill him. You can make a real difference in the world. I can choose not All to use you it. Need to do now is accept it. Mm -mm. Destiny is already mm -mm. Close that Pandora's box or don't open it. Don't open it in the first place. Alum? Oh my god, they have planks of wood holding his head. <laughs> hey, Sorsor. Sorsor? All the people in town are talking. I thought she was. You know what? I honestly thought she might call him Sorosaurus. <laughs> about you? About 
save them from a problem I caused, maybe. Mm-hmm. Is that what heroes do? No offense. So I, I talked to the doctor, and I guess they did some tests. James not going to tell. What? I can't move. I can't walk, and it's not going to get better. This is probably the most serious I've heard Soren this entire time. Or you know so what? far. It's for the best. Dad gave me a secret mission. He did. Oh. Oh, we're having this come out, huh? Yeah, I was, you know, I was wondering about this, so I'm glad they're addressing it. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Dad is so smart, so I figured there must be a good reason. Soren. You're making me feel bad for not, for like, not, for like... Well, I didn't exactly talk crap about Soren. I just, he wasn't my favorite character or anything like that. Like, probably one of my least. Don't make me feel bad for Soren. <laughs> be like oh, okay here come the daddy issues he has daddy issues <laughs> kill the princess kill them <laughs> no. you're joking right now i can't do anything. anything no now they know accept your destiny now she knows about papa i don't like that music accompanying this that chanting <laughs> Callum, I will smack your hand if I can. Don't you touch it. Callum? Callum? <gasps> Harold, yes. Oh. You are free. Are the keys to unlock Harold? This is your destiny. You can't deny it. Mm -mm. Nope, don't listen to Dark, Callum. Nah, no. Listen to Harold. Listen to Papa. Listen to Daddy. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's like something out of a horror film. Nah, good, we're good, we're good. Pass on that, pass, uh, pass on that. No, I get to choose who I want to be. Thank you. Your destiny is already written. No, this destiny is a book you write yourself. Thank you, Callum. Yeah, get out of here, dark Callum. Dallum. Shoo shoo. So I wonder if it's because this is. Wait, so I wonder if when some a human uses dark magic for the first time, is this what they're like faced with? And then them deciding whether to reject, reject it or embrace it is what leads them down that path. So obviously, Claudia and Vera must have said yes. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> Don't need you. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <sighs> that was horrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's your dream, kid. It's your dream, kid. <laughs> Harold was like, I'm just a figment of your imagination. I'm not actually here, so, you know, whatever. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? It just looks good. Okay. He's not missing. He just went for a walk. And he hasn't returned, and we don't know where he is. How long has it been? Right? Aren't you a tracker? Isn't this your whole yeah. job? Yeah. Yeah. I shall. Corvus? Corvus? I forgot his name. Bring the king back safely. You have my word. Go, go. Do your tracking thing. Ooh, I have his word. <sighs> Wait. No expectations from dad or, or anyone. At least he's trying to look at the cup half full. So. What are you gonna do with this newfound freedom? <laughs> it's like, do we call it that? Uh, I mean, it is a freedom in the sense, just not mobility-wise. I've been thinking about that for the last ten minutes, ten and minutes. I've decided I'm going to reinvent myself. I'm gonna be a poet, Claudia. <laughs> Claudia. Oh, you're serious. You're not joking. <laughs> I'm going to be a soothing. Tea, and then and then I'll say my He's trying. poems to them. He's trying. Okay, sure. I already have my first poem. It's a haiku. Yeah. Just uh -huh. uh, tell me when you're ready. Ready? Um. Dragon Smash Boy. Say the good words now. They light the hearts of other people. Do you like it? Was that I'm a haiku? Inspiring. <laughs> She's counting if it was a haiku. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Soren. No, that was a terrible poem, and it, it, it's not even a haiku. <laughs> oh, I can't leave you. That wasn't a haiku. It was a half coup. <laughs> like this, there has to be something. <laughs> Claudia's desperately like, nah, I need to get you. You cannot be a poet. I'm sorry. You just throw that off and shatter it somewhere. That's the. Oh, Claudia, you could do this without breaking everything. Um, Claudia. Cla you need to calm down. No, I don't. You need to calm up. You calm up. <laughs> Can we have a that as a saying? We need you to calm up. Ouch. Well, that went well. What are you gonna find? He's not gonna make the connection to the Arcanum, is he? Because he did say, like, Arcanum's inside of all Zydia creatures, so, but not humans, suppose. Oh. Mm hmm. Sure. Am I be needing a boat? You am? For your voyage. <laughs> You'll be fine. It's just in your imagination. What? What? I'm gonna turn into a flag. I'm sorry. I feel like I've just entered an acid trip now. What the? F um, I was joking when he said he would become like the flag or something. Can this looks so freaking weird. Can you imagine the storyboard, like, or not storyboard, but like the story people having to go and like tell their animators and stuff. All right, we need you to animate Callum into a, f like a sail. <laughs> it's going to be his, his body is going to be the sail and his head is just going to be on top of it. Like, <laughs> if I were an animator, I'd be like, are they like high on something or is he like on drug? Like, is he on like alcohol something? Is he hallucinating? Well, he's in his match just so close enough. I feel like Edwin's gonna be fine. He needs time to pro oh. he needs time to process this. I mean, he's very mature for his age, but he's still young. You're making this easy for me, young king. Uh... That's that looks like. Oh no! Is it the dragon? The, 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 um, the spacing of the footprints don't look far enough to be that dragon, but maybe it is. This can't be happening. I've lost him. What game are you playing? That casual. I don't want to say his name because I feel like I'm going to botch it. I know it's like Azura something. <laughs> but anyway, Mr. Star Touch Elf. Oh, wait, I'm seeing your horns from the. So oh, you have some nice looking horns. You look more like you more eh no deer antlers go more off to the side and have but it kinda has those like points and stuff. Okay, yeah, you're so far you, you got you you're well I mean I don't know if this is unique to him. Um like specifically these are his horn designs, but mm, Oh I like I really like Raylas though. Raylas are like simple but like they're like cute. <laughs> this one looks more fancy. Fitting of a star touch elf. Caterpillar. He is so smug. It's like, sorry, can't hear you unless you use the worm. Ugh. He's like, his reaction is so like what I would imagine Claudia's to be, where it's like, Ugh. actually, no, Sora would probably be the same way. <laughs> I like seeing Viren like this, where you kind of see him not just being this like all like poised person, where he's just like, Ugh. Caterpillar. <laughs> Why should I trust you? Do you have any other choice right now? Oh. <laughs> he looks. Uh oh. He's like, well, I'm supposed to be the tracker, and I couldn't track Ezra. Oh no, he did track Ezra, and so he did his job. But it's just, uh, but it's not his fault that he got. I mean, you both let him go off. So, actually, no. We're... I mean, yeah, you both let him go off. So it's your, both of your faults. <laughs> but it's okay. If he was taken by a dragon or an animal, he can talk to them. <clears throat> 
Why you, Callum's not even awake to hear this. His footprints are replaced by banther tracks. Banther? He's been eaten by a banther. All right, let's not jump to that conclusion. He wasn't. There'd be blood if he was eaten. He was picked up. He probably, he probably, he was walking. It stopped in front of him. They talked, or he talked to it, and was like, "Take me." I wonder if he's going back to uh, Catalus, or if he just wanted to get away, and so he went on to it, and then they rode off. <laughs> oh, okay. Great job! You've lost the king of Catalus. This isn't. Funny. You're taking it very Why well, really. <sighs> Your king happens to be a very mm -hmm. special boy. Yeah. He can talk to animals. There you go. So yep. if there are banther tracks, it means Ezrin caught a ride on the banther, not in the banther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> His free action is like, what? <laughs> I love this. Let's see your coming mantra. What's the mantra? Oh, there is no synonym for cinnamon. There is no synonym for... There is so cin... There is no synonym for cinnamon. Wait, is there not? Actually, yeah, I don't think there is. Is cinnamon, cinnamon one of the words that doesn't have a synonym? Spicy powder? No, that'd be chili. Yeah, I don't think there is. For cinnamon, there is no synonym for cinnamon. There is no synonym for cinnamon. There is no... Honestly, and honestly, that sounds more like a tongue twister than a, like something to calm you down. Are you going to run into uh, Ezrin? Is that a banther? That's a banther. No, nah, that's a banther. That looks like a panther with a badger. Yeah, because it's got the like badger white marking. The, no, this has got to be the one that... Did Ezra go to ride on it to confront Claudia and Soren? I like your design. Hey, Ezra. Ezra? Hi, Claudia. Oh, I really like the banther. Oh, wait. Is it a... Bear panther badger design? Or it's just a bear and panther? Because it, it looks more like a bear mixed with a panther. What's going on now? You messed with something you shouldn't have messed with, and now you're paying the price. Help! Help! You'll get through this. You big dumb human. <laughs> Sailing through the storm in his heart. I really wonder if he's gonna make a connection to Arcanum here. Like a spark, like a little bit. Rewind? Never let me go, Jack. I was about to say, Birdo's big in his subconscious. Drowning in his mind so in real life? Is her voice gonna <laughs> You leave off the episode with that? Well at least it wasn't the season cl cliffhanger. That if that had been the season cliffhanger, oh my god. <laughs> uh so it's not too bad. Unless they leave a cliffhanger for the next episode. But alright, anyway, drawings. We got Dallum. Oh, Look at all the baby panthers! They're freaking cute. Can I have a plushie of the panthers? Rayla being concerned and taking care of Callum. Cute. We got the cube with the dark magic runes. <laughs> Callum sail! That's still so freaking weird. Is that Claudia with a cinnamon roll? I think? Looks Maybe? I don't know. All right, well, anyway, uh, let me get into my thoughts. <laughs> Alrighty then, so my thoughts for this episode. Uh, we had quite a bit in this one. So we see that Soren, as I thought, is paralyzed from the neck down, which I really feel like that's gonna lead to like either Varen or Claudia Maybe it'll push, maybe it's going to push Claudia to go even further down the dark path to figure out a way to heal him or something. I don't know. I feel like, but then you have her running into Ezrin. So I wonder what, I wonder why Ezrin went to go see Claudia. 
Wonder... Could... Is... Okay, either Ezrin's going to Claudia to talk to her about Harrow, or he's going to Claudia to talk to her about... Um, because she's familiar with the dark magic, like, to heal or help Callum. Or something. I feel like it's more likely Callum than it is about his father, even though... Hmm. Um... But then you have, uh, what is it? You have Calum going on his little journey in his, in his subconscious, which is interesting. I really feel like that's going to end with uh, him making connections with Arcanum and him or something like that. Like, especially since he's rejected the dark magic. Um, I wonder if connecting to the dark magic may awaken that Arcanum in him. But then if, you ha if he had followed through with letting the dark magic in, it would have tainted or something like that part but maybe because he rejected it and is probably the first one to reject it it, it still that opened that pathway but now he's he could possibly do like uh the um i don't call it wild magic that's freaking owl house um but like the natural magic um like what all the creatures in his and stuff have um yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious to see um, how it's going to wrap up for the season because uh, you got this and that's it. So I'm guessing what I'm going to predict for the last episode is that um, Callum's going to make a connection to the Arcanum or something. Because um, obviously he's going to make it through that that subconscious storm or whatever it is. Um, I don't know if Rayla's going to have anything to do with it because, I mean, you did hear her voice as he was drowning. So I don't know if that's she's going to get through to him and help him through that. Um, be cute if they do. More of that connection. Um, but, yeah, and we also, I want to see what Ezrin has to talk to Claudia about. Zorin, Zorin definitely, I like him more in this episode. Like, I mean, I already had a feeling that he probably had a lot of pressure on his shoulders shoulders from um, Viren. Like, he wanted to prove himself to him. But he was such, he came across as such as, like, an airhead or someone that, like, really didn't, like, maybe that's a front he put up and everything. So that way nobody knew what he was dealing with and feeling on the inside. Which he did a very good job with that, if that was the case. Because, yeah, I, I had a feeling of that, but he didn't... It's almost like he was such an airhead, he didn't even think of it that way. Um, yeah, now I definitely... I feel more for him. He's still an airhead. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't like... like it, it, still, that episode of where he looked like he, he, or he was going to go through with killing Ezrin, that still felt very like he really, truly didn't care. And I feel like he would have gone through with it, but now he's like, hey, I have a way out. You know, I can't move. So I, I don't I can't follow through with what dad told me to do. It's like, wait, so you were going to actually go through with it if you weren't paralyzed. Like uh, that to me, I still. I mean, at least he told Claudia. So now Claudia's eyes have been open with in regards to Viren. Um, so I wonder if she's going to confront Viren on that, which I'm pretty sure she is considering her personality. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, definitely for uh, second to last episode of the season. Very good. And I'm looking forward to the last one for the season. But, uh, yeah. Those are my... Th oh, wait, no. I, you know, I didn't say this. Okay, so plot was was great. Characters were great. Honestly, it's probably... What I, I'll say this. It's probably one of my favorite episodes of the series so far. Uh, a lot happened, but a lot of, like, great character moments. So, yeah. Uh, animation was great. Music was good. Didn't really notice too much music-wise, but ev everything else was great. Uh, but, yeah. Those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. I'll put a link to it for, uh, right about here. Uh, but, yeah. Um, hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep bringing bright. See ya!